Jelly Spoons to Kai Mathy's YouTube channel, coming at you live via video tape from the Orbital Broadcast Bunker, Britain's first and only airborne subterranean studio, I'll have you know. Now, this week marks the end of the month and the end of our Tomb Raider adventure. This week we are looking at Tomb Raider Chronicles, released in 2000 by Eidos Interactive, an action adventure platform video game developed by Core Design for the Sony PlayStation PC and the Dreamcast. In this installment, Lara Croft, the iconic protagonist of the series, is believed to have perished, prompting a group of her friends to gather at her home for a memorial service, where they recount her earlier exploits. The gameplay guides players through a series of linear levels where Lara solves puzzles, engages in combat with enemies and occasionally employs stealth to overcome challenges. Despite Lara's apparent demise in the previous game, The Last Revelation- Whoa, 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 spoilers! Huh? People, by that I mean you Mr B, might not have played the other game. Court Design was instructed by Eidos to continue the series. Whilst a new team worked on the Angel of Darkness for the PlayStation 2, a veteran team developed Chronicles by expanding on concepts that had been cut from The Last Revelation. However, the game received mixed reviews from the critics. It was criticised for feeling uninspired and lacking any new ideas for the original PlayStation engine. Tomb Raider Chronicles is often regarded as one of the weaker entries in the Tomb Raider series and holds the distinction of being one of the lowest selling games in the franchise, with sales totalling around 1.5 million units. This is the last Friday of the month, covering the last Tomb Raider game of the original series and the last Tomb Raider game to be released on the original PlayStation. Oi! I'm the facts man. You stay in your lane. Right, now where was I? Oh yes. Now some releases came with a competition entry form by way of the product registration card for a trip for two people to Rome to visit some of the locations explored in the game. The winners stayed for three nights at a four star hotel that adjoined the Opera House and one evening you were invited to a Lara Croft photo shoot which included the chance to have your photo taken with Miss Croft. This was scheduled I think for early European summer of 2001. Alternatively, a special offer with very limited places was made to the general public at their own expense, and you had to get that by contacting the number provided in the game. In Tomb Raider Chronicles, the story follows a framing device where Lara's closest friends gather to reminisce about her past adventures after her presumed death. Bloody spoilers! The game takes place through various locations associated with Lara's previous exploits, including Rome, Ireland, Russia, and a haunted island. Each level represents a different story from Lara's past, offering a glimpse into her adventures and personal growth. <sighs> the gameplay in Tomb Raider Chronicles largely retains the core mechanics of the series, combining exploration, puzzle solving, and action sequences. Players control Lara as she navigates intricate environments, uncovers hidden secrets, solves puzzles and engages in combat with enemies and traps. Ah yes, Tomb Raider Chronicles, I remember it well, but have we remembered it well enough? If there's anything we've missed, be sure to let us know in the comments section down below. Aye, oh, yeah, and whilst you're down there, be sure to check out our other social media platforms so that you can see more of this mush. On that mush, on that mush. Yeah. And of course, if you're not subscribed to the channel, then please consider doing so. It helps us grow our little plot on YouTube, and you can do it right now for the brilliant price of free 99 One notable addition in Tomb Raider Chronicles is the inclusion of new gameplay elements to enhance variety and challenge. The game features different playing styles in each level, ranging from stealth-based sections to more traditional platforming and combat scenarios. This diversifies the gameplay experience and provides a fresh take on an established formula. Tomb Raider Chronicles received mixed reviews upon its release. Whilst the game was praised for its nostalgic appeal, atmospheric environments and intriguing storyline structures, it was criticised for its short length and lack of significant innovation compared to its predecessor. Some critics felt that the game did not bring enough new ideas to the table to fully captivate players. Oh. 
Following the release of Tomb Raider Chronicles, the franchise underwent significant changes, with a new development team taking over for subsequent entries. The game marked an end of an era for the original core design developed Tomb Raider series, and a new direction was taken with later installments. And with that, thank you so much for watching. We hope you have enjoyed what turned out to be a Tomb Raider month. If you like this approach to the Friday Facts videos, please be sure to let us know in the comment section down below and maybe we'll do some more like it in the future. If you've made it all the way to the end of this video, then please be sure to click the like button or the dislike button if you're so inclined. But if this is your first Kaimathi video, then hopefully you've enjoyed it enough to subscribe to the channel. It's free after all, and you can always just unsubscribe later. But for now, cheerio, see you next week.